It is a well understood fact that as humans, we tend to like things to stay the same. We like what we know. We like to know what we know. And we don't like a whole lot of change, especially unexpectedly. As we've explored in other videos, our brain is actually quite terrible with uncertainty. And training it to be open to new things is literally a brain training exercise that some of us need to do in order to live our thriving lives, especially those of us who survive hard, difficult, painful, or even traumatic things. And so when we look at the journey for mental health recovery, it stands to reason that our brain might experience resistance. And there's an important reason why I said our brain versus ourselves, or we may push back against the change. Our brain learns to survive. It develops deeply rooted neural pathways for how to experience and behave in the world around us in order to have the best possible outcome given its number one directive, make sure we don't die. And as we know, when we grow up to be adults, especially when we've survived hard things in childhood, those pathways from the past will show up in the present day, but may not be in best service of the life we're trying to live. That being said, they're coping skills and they are deeply grooved into our brain as the way we exist in the world. Resistance is a normal part of human life pushing back against the unknown, resisting new things, getting tired or fatigued when we're doing new things and we're not seeing the outcomes that we want. All of those things represent resistance. And when we acknowledge that and lean into it, we create the opportunities for healing and personal empowerment at a whole new level. You see, when we don't expect resistance, when we expect the easy button, then we're going to get our brain into trouble because we have to be very mindful that our brain is hardwired and designed to keep us alive. We need to embrace and even high five our brain's ongoing ability to ensure that we keep waking up each day. And if we are lying to ourselves through giving ourselves affirmations that don't fit where we are in our journey, or pushing ourselves to do things that really feel way outside our comfort zone, or that our brain's going, I just don't want to do it, we're actually putting roadblocks in front of ourselves. There's a wonderful tool called Smart Goals, and it's my favorite way to break through resistance. And of course, you can find the entire program in my Healing in Your Hands book. But the opportunity is to create a smart goal, a goal that is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely, a goal that your brain is aligned with, and then digging into what are the roadblocks to those goals and how can you create actionable ways around them. And frequently we find that the roadblocks in of themselves become right grow goals that we have to do to break through the resistance to achieve the larger change. That's okay. That's a part of being human. And when we acknowledge and lean into our very real humanity, there is an incredible new realm of personal empowerment that begins to unfold.